Hi everyone, this is Miss Jen from the Lawrence Branch of the Mercer County Library System. I'm here today to show you four Father's Day crafts. I don't know about you, but when I've looked on Pinterest for some Father's Day crafts, I see a lot of the same ones with ties and tools, which are really neat. But I found this book in our collection, All New Crafts for Father's Day and Mother's Day, that has some unique ones. So the four I'm going to show you are this little picture flower bouquet, two magnets, a little bouquet, and then also a race car, and then a card for my hand, some dad. And you can draw a picture on the inside. So the supplies you need should be listed below or on the next slide. Now let's get started. We're going to start with our picture bouquet. So these are the supplies that you will need. Enough cardstock in different colors for five flowers. I had found this flower template online, just printed out. Um, the flowers are about two inches wide. And for the pictures on the inside, I made them about one inch by one inch. You can adjust the flower size to whatever size bag you're using or flower stems. You will need a rubber band to close your bag, a little pouch or bag for stones. We have these and from leftover from a craft. You can, any little drawstring type bag would work well. Um, stones, floral tape, some fake flowers with at least five blooms on there. I've already taken the flowers off. You don't need those for this project. And then a wire clippers to clip. So first, we're going to start by clipping the stems off. You need five stems. And you can see about how long they are. Again, you can adjust them once you get your bag of stones done. So there are my five stems. Fill your bag with rocks, with the pretty stones, whatever you have on hand. Pull tight, tie it off. And add your rubber band just for extra protection. You can see in the book, they put the tie on the top. I liked mine on the bottom. I choose to tuck mine, push it between the stones and put it on the bottom. But you can adjust to however size your bag is, however it stands the best. Then you're gonna take your five paper clips one per stem and a little bit of your floral tape and secure one paper clip per stem. Floral tape is sticky when you stretch it out. So you're going to kind of stretch as you wrap and it will stick to itself as you wrap. There's one, you see I didn't cover the two loops completely so you can still slide something in between. You're gonna do that on all five. With all five stems prepared, you're gonna make your flowers. Again, I found this template just on a Google image search for 
flower clip art, black and white. You can do any style flower you'd like. For my size stem, I found that this about two inch wide flower was good. And then for my pictures inside, I did them one inch by one inch squares. You can adjust all that according to what size you're looking for. But you're gonna cut out five flowers, one for each stem. I used my template. Now that I have my five flowers, if you have pictures, I didn't print any out for this, for these samples, but this is when you would just glue them into the center. I found it easiest to poke these through without putting the flowers on first. Um, so you want to arrange them in your stones. Add your flowers to the paper clips. And there you have your pretty bouquet, your picture bouquet. Next, we're going to make this adorable little magnet bouquet. So you can give your dad a bunch of flowers for Father's Day. For this, you will need a ruler, a pencil eraser, um, the kind that's on the end. You can get a pack of them at the dollar store. Some pony beads. I picked four here. You can do as many as you'd like for your stems. We're going to need a piece of magnet with the uh, adhesive on the back. Some glue and for the stems our book suggests green ribbon I didn't think that was stiff enough and we had some of this green lanyard works great you can also use a green pipe cleaner I'm going to stick with the lanyard first you're going to measure five to seven lengths of lanyard from about half an inch to just about an inch and a half, all different sizes. You're going to measure on your ruler and then the scissors to cut. Once you have your five to seven stem pieces cut, you're going to add some glue to your eraser and put them in. Some are stems and some are leaves. There you have it. Now I left the back. It's nothing going over the back because that's where the magnet goes. Once you have this, add a dollop of glue in between each bead and put them on your desired stems. Best to keep it flat to dry, but there you can see I have them. Then you just add your magnet to the back. Now, if you do have the kind with this uh, sticky stuff on the back, you peel that and stick it on. This piece I had, the sticky stuff has dried up, so I'm gonna add some glue and put it on and then let the whole thing sit to dry. You can also use tacky glue or hot glue. Let it sit for a few hours. And then you'll have something like this to put on the fridge. Now, similarly, we're going to make a magnet, but a little race car. So for this one, you'll need 
four black buttons of about the same size for the wheels, two of those pencil erasers in the same color. Again, you can get a pack from a dollar store, any school supply place. A magnet, preferably with the sticky side, sticky uh, stuff on one side, or you can just glue one that doesn't have that on. And then for the flames coming out of the back, you can use ribbon, which is what the book suggests. You can use bits of pipe cleaner. Or what I'm going to use is, again, the lanyard. So we have this red and yellow lanyard all ready to go, and it's stiff, so it adds that little bit of stiffness to it. Uh, so we we're going to start by using scissors to cut pieces that are about an inch and a half. You will need your ruler again as well. I did three yellow and three red. You can do as many as you'd like in any color. Once those are cut, you set them to the side. Take your two erasers, put glue inside one of them. I'm going to put the pointy end of one into the hole of the other. Shove it in there. Put more glue in the hole and you can stick in your flames. Add your magnet to the back. If you have the sticky kind, you just peel that off and stick it to the back. Or if you have mine where the sticky stuff is dried up, you're going to add a little bit of glue. Glue on your four wheels, let it dry, and you'll be done. We will get something like that. The last craft we'll look at today is this cute little My Dad is Handsome card. For this, you will need scissors, ruler, glue, a pencil. Uh, I prefer a glue stick over white glue, but either would work. Markers. And then for paper, you'll need a patterned paper, which you can get them pre-done like this or just print something from your computer or use a magazine, anything with color on it. And then two pieces of construction paper in complementary colors, then a piece of white paper to go on the inside. Now, to start, you're gonna to wanna to trace your hand on the patterned paper. I'm using my daughter's handprint. You trace your hand and cut it out. If you're doing a child's hand and the child isn't available to do the hand when you're ready, you can also find a template online. Once you have your hand prick, you're going to work on the mat. You can use your ruler to help solve this. If you are like me and you're using the construction paper that's 12 inches by 9 inches, I decided that I would leave a 3 quarter inch margin on the, the bottom and the top and then a half inch margin on the two sides. So that leaves us with this piece being 7.5 inches by 5.5. So 7.5 by 5.5. Use our ruler to measure that.
So again, that is seven and a half inches long by five and a half inches wide. Cut that out. Your hand and your mat. You'll take your other piece of construction paper and fold it in half. For inside, you want a piece of white paper. I'm using white cardstock. You can use white printer paper. Just smooth it out carefully as it might bubble when you glue it down. My cardstock is eight and a half by 11, and that fits perfectly inside the nine by 12 card um, construction paper to leave some color. If you need to adjust sizes, just use your ruler, your pencil, your scissors, and you can make it the right size to fit. I'm going to fold my cardstock in half as well. And glue it inside. Glue on the front, your mat, and your hand. Voila. And use your markers to write the date. This year, 2023, the date for our Father's Day is June 18th. You put my hand, dot, 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 inside, dot, 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 some dad. So it's my handsome dad. Draw a portrait of your dad there. You can write your message here. And I would put the year so he knows when you made it for him. And decorate it however else you'd like. There you have it. There's the checker with the blue. There's the more wild print. So whatever you have, you could match it and theme it. My handsome dad. I hope you've enjoyed seeing and making these four crafts. I highly recommend checking out the all new crafts for Mother's Day and Father's Day by Kathy Ross because there are many neat projects. And I wish you all a happy Father's Day. See you next time.